Hello there, my name is Harish Angarsi, studying History Industrial Engineering, Batch of 23 at College of Engineering, Trivandro. Today, we will learn how to solve a question based on Francis Turbine. This is a worked out problem. Now, let's read the question. A Francis turbine with an overall efficiency of 75% is required to produce 148.25 kW power. It is working under a head of 7.62 meter. The peripheral velocity is given as 0.26 root of 2GH and the radial velocity of the flow at inlet is given as 0.96 root of 2GH. The wheel runs at 150 rpm and the hydraulic losses at the turbine are 24% of the available energy. Assuming radial discharge, we determine the guide blade angle, the wheel vane angle at inlet, diameter of the wheel at inlet, width of the wheel at inlet. So first we need to find the guide blade angle which we denote as alpha, the wheel vane angle at inlet which we denote as theta, Diameter of the wheel at inlet, which we denote as D1, and the width of the wheel at inlet, which we denote as B1, respectively, for our answer. Now, let's write down what all is given in our question. So, we are given the overall efficiency of the turbine to be 75%. The output power or the power produced is 148.25 kilowatt. The head to be 7.62 meter the peripheral velocity in the question is given as 0.26 root of 2 gh substituting the value for h we will get u1 as 3.18 meters per second the velocity of flow at inlet is given in the question as 0.96 root of 2 gh substituting the value for h we get the value of vf1 as 11.738 meters per second the speed of the turbine is 150 rpm and the hydraulic losses are 24% of the available energy. Now let's look at the figure. Consider the turbine blade as shown. This is the inlet. We need to find the guide blade angle that is alpha and the wheel vane angle at the inlet which is theta. Also since it is specified in our question we consider the discharge at the outlet be radial which in turn we take vw2 as 0 and vf2 as v2 we also need to find a hydraulic efficiency that is eta h we have studied that eta h is equal to total head minus the hydraulic loss whole divided by total head that is h minus 0.24 of h the whole divided by h which gives us 0.76 as studied in previous classes, we know the formula connecting eta h and vw1 and u1, which is eta h is equal to vw1 u1, the whole divided by gh. Since we have found the value of eta h, we know the value of u1 and h, we can substitute and solve for the value of vw1 to be 17.87 meters per second. First, we need to find the guide blade angle, that is alpha. And for that, we take the inlet velocity triangle from the given figure. That is, tan alpha is equal to Vf1, the whole divided by Vw1. Since we know the value of Vf1 and Vw1, substituting it, we get 0.66. Therefore, alpha is equal to the tan inverse of 0.66, which we get as 33.425 degree, or 33 degrees 26 minutes. The wheel vane angle at the inlet, that is theta. From the velocity triangle given, we know that tan theta equal to Vf1 divided by this side. This side is calculated as Vw1 minus u1. Therefore, tan theta is equal to 0.7743 and therefore theta is equal to the tan inverse of 0.7743 which is 37.74 degree there are 37 degree 44 minutes to find the diameter of the wheel that is d1 we know the relation that the velocity is equal to pi dn by 60 here u1 is equal to pi d1 n 
divided by 6g. Since we know the value of u1 and n, substituting and solving for the value of d1, we get 6g into u1 the whole divided by pi n, which is 1.215 meters. To find the width of the V-LED inlet, which is B1, we know the efficiency of the turbine is calculated by the output power by input power. The input power is rho GQH, where rho is the density of water, Q the amount of water discharged, and H to be the head. We are given the values for efficiency and the output power. Substituting these values and solving for Q, we get Q or discharge to be 2.6443 meter cube per second. Since discharge Q is the amount of water leaving the turbine per unit time, we can conclude discharge Q as Q is equal to pi into D1 into B1 into Vf1. We know the value of Vf1 and the value of D1 and Q were calculated. Substituting these values and solving for B1, we will get B1 is equal to 0 0.0591. Rounding that off, we will get 0 0.06 meters. Hope you all understood this problem. Thank you for listening and have a great day.